we have Dr. Dan, um, last name slipped my mind, uh, Dr. Dan come up and we also have Alexander May Hunter. Yes, are you Dr. Dan? Yes, May Hunter. Dan, Dan Coots. Dan Coots, sorry. Thank you. I would call you Dr. Dan. He tried the mic. Yeah, is this working now? Okay, good. Uh, which one of you is going to speak first? Have a seat. <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you. Nice pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you. Who's going to speak first? first? Up to you. You can speak first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you guys have a seat? Thank you. Um, our ground rules on the panel are uh, each panel speaker. We got basically about thirty-five minutes. Thirty minutes. Uh, <clears throat> Ten minutes, no more. Uh, we can make uh, those who are going to make. We only have one mic, so you'll need to come up. We'll be up, um, line up on the side here, and uh, we'll have to use one mic for the audience to make their comment, question. Keep your comment or question no more than a minute, preferably less, so we can get as most <coughs> people uh, giving uh, response or feedback or whatever. Um, I'm going to pass around. Uh, Ivan's going to pass around two clip. Ivan's going to pass around two clipboards. One starting at the front, the other at the back. We want to know you are here. We want your contact information so we can let you know about future programs. This is not the last. This is just the first. This is just the start. And uh, if you are motivated and you feel you want to help in some action area, you can put the initials for research or legislative lobbying or publicity outreach in the middle column on the on the uh, So the ones that are going, one from the front to pass it back, the other ones pass forward, and somewhere they'll meet uh, in between. Okay, uh, Dr. Dan Koontz, who is uh, our first panelist, uh, he has had, he's a naturopathic, retired naturopathic physician, he has had a radio program on KFNX 1100 for the past 40 years. One of the longest running uh, health and nutrition uh, radio shows. And um, he has practiced in Phoenix for 35 years before retiring. He's an active consultant in the nutraceutical industry. And he's uh, offered his services in the Dallas Sonora, treating widows, orphans, cancer patients, and free medical clinic for 35 years. So let, let's hear from you, Dr. Dan. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I want to thank everybody for coming this evening. And uh, I'll tell you what, we have given, um, been given a tremendous opportunity to be here this evening, and I appreciate everybody being here because we want to band together and help fight chemtrails, geoengineering. And we learned a lot of the good information tonight. As uh, Pete indicated, I have hosted a radio show since the mid-70s, since 1975, every day, Monday through Friday, uh, discussing the latest breakthroughs in the world of international wellness to help each and every one of you. So please tell your friends about our radio show. We're on KFNX 1100 on your AM dial. We broadcast every morning, 9 to 10, Monday through Friday. And we urge you to call us if you have any issues you'd like for us to talk about in the show. We can do that. We can arrange to do that. We have world-class physicians, noted authors, uh, individuals like Lexi Hunter, who's going to uh, talk with you in just a moment, talking about very, very critically important issues. And I think that geoengineering is the most important subject that we have ever talked about in the past 40 years. It impacts every single one of us. As we've heard tonight, the aluminum, barium, the strontium, and other toxic metals. It's in our air, our water. It's in our food. We're breathing this and it's leading to a number of different health challenges. In my practice, we always conducted hair analysis to find out exactly what was going on with my patients and finding out what level of toxic metals they experienced uh, were having in their bodies. Well, we've seen a dramatic increase in aluminum barium and strontium over the past 15, 20 years. And it's directly proportional to the increase in the geoengineering, as we've talked about tonight, the chemtrails. So 
We've seen it with my own patients. It leads to a wide variety of health challenges, uh, which you heard about on the program tonight. Alzheimer's disease has gone through the ceiling. Absolutely bizarre. I mean, I, even I am shocked that it's dramatically increasing uh, by le leaps and folds. It's just unbelievable. Not only that, but a dramatic increase in cancer. All this information is available on PubMed, the National Library of Science. If you go to your, uh, the internet and enter the search PubMed, that's P-U-B-M-E-D, and ask any question that you want, it will show you there's over uh, 40 million abstracts or articles uh, on, on this uh, internet website. It's the largest website uh, for, for medicine in the entire world. You can ask questions and get the answers from this information in the medical literature. So this is very important that we band together, help each other. We're going to come up with some solutions, which Lexi Hunter is going to share with you in just a moment. But we have found that uh, in examining my own patients through hair analysis, you heard on the program tonight with Dr. Levine, we find that there is a dramatic elevation in the toxic metals, not only in, our, in my own patients, but all of us are exposed to this. So um, if you'd like to learn more about it, you can come and see me at Healthy Habit Health Foods. I do my radio show there every morning, 9 to 10. I'm also there most of the time except for Fridays. I've been helping. I'm the store nutritionist, and uh, I'm retired from practice. However, I am planning on going back into practice probably next year. Uh, but I'll, that, that's a different subject altogether. And um, if you want to more, know more about uh, your respiration, if you want to know more about if you are at risk, you can certainly have a hair analysis conducted. Talk with your doctor, your chiropractic physician, your naturopathic MD. We're very fortunate in Arizona. We have over 800 naturopathic MDs in Arizona. We have many uh, homeopathic MDs. Most of the physicians, all the physicians can order this laboratory testing to be done. Find out where you're at, and if you have issues with elevated toxic metals, guess what? You can have chelation done. That was mentioned tonight in the program. Chelation, intravenous chelation, we use EDTA. That is a special uh, way of pulling out toxic metals in the body. It doesn't hurt. Uh, it, it's not expensive. Um, all of the, most of the naturopathic companies render this service in their, in their practices. If you want to learn more about it, come and see me and help me have the help with or call me. My cards are back on the table here. Call me. I'll be happy to speak with you. Uh, and also your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. And I urge you to share this information with everybody that you know, because we have to band together. We have to do something about this. It's going to affect each and every one of us, our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and the, the list goes on and on and on from there. But I'll tell you what, I really want to thank you again for being with us tonight. I'm going to let Lexi Hunter take over here. Thank you so much. I just have sure, if you want. Uh, just a few words about uh, Lexi Hunter. Uh, she's a specialist in environmental law for the past 24 years, as well as being a researcher, analyst, expert, legislative, legal, draftsperson, and anti-geoengineering advocate. She helped to organize the ADAC hearing in Kingdom, June 25th, 2014. How many of you, or any of you out there, go to Kingdom here? Okay, it was quite a crowd there. Uh, she's also prepared a 70-page resolution and background document which outlines precise Arizona laws which govern the scope of this issue and covers the historical scientific facts on the ongoing activities of geo and climate engineering. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Can everybody hear me? Is this working? You want to speak right into it. Hello. Hello. There you go. There you okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk real fast now. Okay. The geoengineers and the power that be and their agents have been intentionally using the verbiage such as stratospheric aerosol geoengineering, SAG, and stratospheric aerosol injection, SAI, since the Royal Society defined these terms in 2009. What we are bearing witness to is tropospheric. These criminals coined these terms for their intended purpose to intentionally mind control the intended dialogue. The airplanes spraying us are in the troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. The troposphere starts at the Earth's surface and goes to a height of 4 to 12 miles, 
or 21,120 feet to 63,000 feet. There's 5,280 feet per mile. But technically speaking, since it starts at the surface of the Earth, which would be zero, it goes from point zero at the surface up to 63,000. Above the tropospheric layer of 63,000 feet begins the stratosphere. Airplanes don't fly above 42,000 feet. And since we see these planes with our own eyes without any visual aid, aids, these planes are well within the troposphere. You're going to hear a lot of uh, talk in these films and other activists. All they talk about is the stratosphere. What we're bearing witness to, ladies and gentlemen, is in the troposphere. This is a controlled tactic dialogue that the governments, the scientific community, and the educational institutions are all using to um, get around the truth. Okay, there are seven agendas to this. I recommend that you pick up the new book by Ilana Freeland titled Chemtrails, Harp, the Full Spectrum Dominance of Planet Earth. There are seven agendas, and I'm going to list them very quickly. They have absolutely nothing to do with global warming. Global warming is a hoax. The seven agendas are weather modification, the physical atmosphere and ecosystem is being changed. Uh, an example, Monsanto has anti-drought resistant GMO seeds. They're controlling the weather to control the planet. Number two, electromagnetic operations, the ionization of the upper atmosphere to draw charged particles into the lower atmosphere. Barium particles are used for more conductivity. The metals, aluminum, barium, and strontium, act as the atmospheric conductors for HARP, which is an ionospheric heater, as well as all ground-based EMFs, including NEXRED. These are electromagnetic frequency devices they need the metallic particles in the atmosphere um, to move the weather, okay, vis-a-vis -vis the EMFs, okay? Number three, military operations. This is, these are weapons. Number four, biological operations, the biotechnical delivery of bio-warfare components, bio-nanotech. Number five, planetary geophysical operations. Alter plasma means dramatic earth changes via the troposphere and magnetosphere. Intelligence, C4. Sophisticated surveillance of everything and everyone. C4 means command, control, communication, and computers. And number seven is the detection of exotic propulsion systems. Again, I highly urge you to get Ilana Freeland's new book. She spells it out. It's called Chemtrails Harp, the Full Spectrum Dominance of Planet Earth. Okay, on June 25th of last year, I attended the Kingman, Arizona public hearing in the Mojave County Auditorium, which was videotaped for the public record. And I placed the state of Arizona on actual legal notice of the currently in effect tropospheric geoengineering program and non-consent thereto through Arizona State Senator Dr. Kelly Ward and the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality, ADEQ's attorneys, Sherry Zendry and Beth Hager. All three are official representatives of the state of Arizona. The state of Arizona has been placed on actual legal notice, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the only state in the country that this has happened. I found out about this, I took the opportunity and I made the move. There we go. Their assertion is that the source of the emissions are from jet engines, and this is an EPA matter. Facts were presented to them that the actual source is not from jet engines, but from jets that are specially retrofitted with nozzles on the horizontal stabilizers of the tails, which we have voluminous amounts of photographic and videographic proof, including this photograph, which Dr. Ward was given. You want to hold that up. That's only one photograph. Okay, guys, we have thousands of these. Okay, do your close-up photography or your videos. These jets are specially retrofitted on the tails that are bombing us here in Phoenix every single day. Okay, sorry. All right. 
No action has been taken by any of them since the June 25th meeting. In fact, all inquiries placed to them have been referred to the EPA. The ADEQ does have jurisdiction over this matter and is complicit in massive fraud, deception, and a cover-up. The jets are emitting air pollution and Arizona has laws on the books covering air pollution. Under Title 49.421, the legal definitions of both air contaminants and air pollution are as follows. Air contaminants include smoke, vapors, charred paper, dust, soot, grime, carbon fumes, sulfuric acid, aerosols, aerosol droplets, odors, particulate matter, windborne matter, radioactive materials or noxious chemicals, or any material in a combination there too. Air pollution means the presence in the outdoor atmosphere of one or more air contaminants or combinations thereof in sufficient qualities which either alone or in connection with other substances by reason of their concentration and duration are to or tend to be injurious to human, plant, or animal life or cause damage to the property or unreasonably interfere with the comfortable enjoyment of life or property of a substantial part of the community obscure visibility or in any way degrade the quality of the ambient air below the standards established by the director. The state of Arizona's duty is ongoing and continuous requiring the state to take into account and adjust to current condu conditions and in light of changing circumstances and new information so to ensure adequate protection of the atmosphere for this and future generations. They're not doing anything. They're covering this up. Now, here in Arizona, in case anybody doesn't understand how laws work, to push laws through or get introductions of any topics, you have to go through the specific committee that that particular topic applies to. There are several committees here in the state of Arizona, but we have one specific committee that is uh, titled the uh, Standing Committee on Energy, Environment, and Natural Resources. Here's the names of our Arizona representatives that are on there. We have a mix of senators and um, house reps. Frank Pratt, Russell Bowers, Victoria Steele, Brenda Barton, Heather Carter, Ken Clark, Mark Finchman, Marcario Saldate IV, and Vince Leach. These are the people that we need to approach and we need to hammer on them. I have created a 70-page concise document. No one else in the United States has done this. I've done it for four other states, and I'm having people in those states go after it. So we need people that are seriously going to help us here to pound on these people who we pay their salaries to help us with, okay? Right. I'm talking very fast, okay. Okay, I will be on Don McDowell's AM radio, uh, mainstream radio program this Sunday at 7 a.m. for a two-hour show. KFNX 1100 on the AM radio dial. And Don, uh, details are at Don's website, which is www.shaperattleandtroll.com. And I think Don is here. There's Don. Don, can you stand up? Thank you All for right. coming, Don. Now I understand that there's some flyers on the table that give you the um, what we are recommending the appropriate websites for you guys to get fact-based material. Uh, Chemtrails Planet is one of those websites and there's a lot of uh, historical documents all open source. I have spent 30,000 hours, three years of my life investigating this and um, you know my interviews are up there with Dr. Dan and you know, we're just trying to get people to understand this is real and it's happening. And if you guys just look up in the sky, I don't know about you, but you, listen, I'm seeing this every day. How can people not see this? Not see this. These are not jet engines, condensations, folks. These are specially retrofitted uh, airplanes with nozzles on the horizontal stable, stabilizers of the airplanes. And people ask, well, who's doing it? A very high-ranking official of the EPA in Chicago told me, this is the United States Air Force, ladies and gentlemen, and again, there are seven agendas. Get Alana Freeland's book. You really need to do your own research. It's out there for you now. Um, this is not a conspiracy theory. These are facts. We have medical doctors that are on board with us. Dr. Russell Blalack has done a, just a, years of study on this. And... Um, 
you know, gee, I'm, uh, you know, I hope that you'll, you folks will join up with us and really help us. My email address is Alexandra Hunter. That's A L E X A N D R A H U N T E R at A T T dot net. Alexandra Hunter dot, uh, Alexandra Hunter at A T T dot net. So if you're serious and you want to help us out, we're going to do another one of these events, but not at a movie theater. We're going to screen Michael Murphy's movie. We're going to bring in three more stellar medical doctors, and we're going to have about four hours to go after this. Uh, we were really, really pushed to a very tight timeline here. And again, what we're bearing witness to is not in the stratosphere. You're going to hear this over and over. The stratosphere, forget it. We're, what we're bearing witness to is in the troposphere. I'm the person that's cut into the chase here, and it really has not earned me a lot of popularity points that are people that are trying to control the dialogue. I'm not here to control the dialogue. I am not here to sell you an app. I am here to tell you the truth because I am a citizen of the United States of America. I am a mother and I'm a grandmother. And by God, to the day I drop dead, I'm fighting this and I need your help. Just one camera. So if you come up over here, and so we can use the mic and uh, ask a question or make a comment, keep it down to a minute or less, if you would. Please just line up over here so we can. Uh, <laughs> good first one. Thank you, all of you who did all the research and the legal actions, because this is the way I think that we all need to. To, to, to stop this. STOP is the only solution. I don't mean to take away from the show. I just want to make an Use announcement. The mic, um, SRP. The mic. Is this working? Thank you. Can I speak into it. Speak into it. Right again. I, I'm sorry. I do not intend to detract from their presentation. I just can't compete with them. I just have a local announcement to make. SRP um, has a price plan for a solar. Uh, people who have solar power on their homes and Monday morning uh, February 9th at 9.30 they're going, their board is going to discuss this price plan and we're trying to mobilize folks to gather at 8.30 before that meeting as well as to attend the meeting to protest the rate plan and so that's at 1 East Continental Drive in Tempe um, the meeting is at 9.30. We're hoping to gather folks at 8.30 to protest the, the, the rate plan. So, okay. thank you for your time. My name is Russ, but <coughs> Russ Wittenberry. I'm a retired airline captain. And uh, what I'd like to know, I want to thank, first of all, I want to thank you for this very great presentation. Tonight. Really terrific. Um, what is the, does anybody have a handle on the cost of this worldwide consp criminal conspiracy? And does anybody know how it's being funded, and who is funding it, and what is their end game? The American taxpayers are funding this, sir. It's coming out of the military-industrial complex uh, portion of the federal budget. That's what it. What part of the federal budget? Have you researched what part? The federal, the, the military-industrial component, sir. This is a military yeah. project. Uh, I fully agree. The airlines have nothing to do with this. Because the airlines couldn't possibly do this and get away with it. Uh, but we believe what, that some some commercial airliners are emitting the stuff as well. But what we are bearing witness to right here in the Phoenix metro area are unmarked, unidentifiable airplanes. I'm not going to go down the path it, it, during this discussion about the commercial aspect of this. Don and I will talk in two hours. Uh, on Sunday morning in depth about this, but okay. there's your answer. Now, Thank you. As far as the aluminum oxide and the various uh, heavy metals which are being used in the spray, who is, do you have any idea who's manufacturing them? Well, I, I would say that anybody that normally manufactures those types of chemicals, we have enough patents, there are patents all over the place covering this. So well, that, That's a lot of aluminum. Yes, it is, yeah. sir. That's correct. It's, it's a lot. Thank you, Russ. Yeah. K O C H. Good evening. Um, 
I have for a long time believed that there was a lot going on that we were unaware of within our government. Speak close to the mic. Um, I have been um, around from the old school. So I remember the days when we all thought that the entire world was going to be covered by asphalt and we wouldn't have any food. And true enough, some of those things have come to play itself out. However, in understanding what our job may be to eradicate the poisons that are being put into our air, it has been brought to my attention that this is only a conspiracy to hide the larger conspiracy. And I would like to know if there is any thought on the fact that it has been brought to my attention that this is only a conspiracy to ultimately eradicate three-fourths of our planet. Is there any comment on that? Well, yes, I would say that the spraying of millions of tons of heavy-duty metals into the atmosphere... That's not my point. Well, my yes, point it, yes, is, it, my point is, one moment, my point is, is that this is being done not to spray chemicals into our atmosphere for the true seeding of clouds and climate control, but it's actually being done so that the wealthy can eradicate three quarters of our planet. Well, yes, I would say you're correct, Susan. We are the we are the uh, collateral. So that is then the end game. Okay, we're the collateral damage. Yes, it no, does. Oh, no, no, the collateral damage is still again something else. I'm not talking collateral damage. I'm talking intentional genocide. Genocide. Thank you. Okay, I am talking okay. that this would be yeah. intentional genocide, and if that is the case, then we have a much larger problem than simply putting metals into the atmosphere. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Dr. Dan, we have a problem. Yes. <laughs> yes, there's no question about that. Thank you for your comment, Susan. Yes, uh, yes there's no question about it that uh, I think some of the experts have put this in the category of Agenda 21. To read about yeah. that in the United Nations. Uh, if you go to the website of the United Nations and, and do an inquiry on Agenda 21, you'll learn more about that. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your hours that you've spent as well doing everything. As I listen to everything, there's like a ton of questions that can be asked, but just a couple questions. One is, in light of everything that's going on, how are the people that are causing all this, how are they ever going to be exempt from it? I don't understand. So if you're causing this huge problem where everybody's going to be sick and the damage it's doing, why, how do they think they're exempt in any way? Is there some special hiding place? You know, where people are going so that they won't eat you know, that That's one thing that I've always... Well, they're criminals thought. and we want them held accountable. Bottom line. Absolutely, yeah. and I just don't at, see at, how they can from Alzheimer's or anything. No, at things. every facet, at every level of this, every level of participation or complicity, they're all criminals and they all need to be held accountable. They're pariah and they need to be removed from society. And lastly, um, what is the governor's role in all this as far as any kind of actions or things that are taking place? I haven't spoken to the new governor. Uh, Senator Johnson and I tried to, we, we tried to go after the... Uh, the former governor, and it, it's a, it was a revolving door with her. So, um, you know, I haven't spoken to this new guy. I, I, I don't know. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, I, I view this as a final solution, as it was in the days of the Nazis, that we're being eradicated against our will. And so... As we're rising up against this, which I'm completely on board with everything, because I've I read a book that's like 200 years old, and it literally lays out those seven modifications. If you control the weather, you can control the food supply. If you control the food supply, you can control population. If you can control population, you can capacify the world to do whatever you want them to do, because they'll be desperate, and they'll be sick, and it'll it's just bad. So, what do we do? to protect ourselves while we're in this battle, where if our organic food is being corrupted by Monsanto, what can we do to protect our families who are trying to fight this battle alongside you? Certainly very important. Number one, you want to contact your uh, representatives, U.S. Senators and uh, members of the House of Representatives, um, state as well. And, uh, you know, if you follow through with this, as we heard during the, uh, the, the movie, uh, the loudest voice is what's going to be having the impact. So, Lexi, would you care to comment on that? 
Well, I'm not a healthcare professional, but you have to eat. You have to eat very wisely. I mean, I only eat organic food. I push a lot of citrus, cranberry. You know, Dan. Dan has a health food store that he works at, and you know, you have to use chelation uh, methodology um, because these are nano. So. Um, you know, we'll try to talk a little bit more about this, I think, on Sunday on the program. But I'm, I'm not a healthcare professional. I just try to really eat wisely and um, try to collate with cilantro and, and that type of stuff to pull the metals out. So We do have uh, oral chelation uh, products at Healthy Habit Health Foods. Uh, many people that come to the store uh, don't have the money to go see a physician to have the chelation done, IV chelation. If that's the case, we do have oral chelation products that you can take that will pull the heavy metals, uh, toxic metals out of your body. <laughs> I had just one, one more quick thing. Um, I'm sorry. I, with, um, just real quick. With the, um, there's so much propaganda going out to our, our young people. Uh, my son was just recently um, invited to this future medical doctors because he's a pre-med student to learn about how nanotechnology can benefit the future. And so they're really trying to instant, you know, um, to really educate our, our students, and I think we need to know what they're really teaching. Sorry. Any comments, or should we go to the next question? Next question. Um, regarding chelation, um, I can tell you that for years I've been taking um, just clay from Crater Lake, Oregon. There's a company called Vitality Herbs and Clay. I don't get a penny or any kind of compensation. It's a clay that suspends in water, mm -hmm. and it does have like aluminum particles, but they're safe, and they go through the body, and they like a magnet. It works instantly. Clay baths, clay foot baths, um, slurries in the shower. If you are, are in any medications like um, blood pressure, etc., something you have to be on. You don't want to take it orally because it'll take those out too. Um, that's just number one. Um, okay. Number two. Quick, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I minutes. used to organize for PETA, and I live in Sedona, and I'm starting meetings with the city council. I plan to go PETA on their butts in tourist season, if like offering chemtrail tours, whatever it takes to disrupt the financial flow and the denial. You hit them where it hurts in their pocketbook, and you'll wear <laughs> costumes. <laughs> I just wanted to Keep say. Short. I will. Um, my dad was, he worked for ADEQ, um, Arizona Department of Environmental Quality, for about six years. He was a senior hydrologist. So I know he died in 2011, but I do know that a lot of the ADEQ employees have been threatened with, like, with that they wouldn't have First Amendment protection if they spoke out about it. And he also told me that the test, the results are coming out from ADEQ are not what is being put out publicly to you guys. What you read that is in the water, the soil, and the air, it's much, much different. And it's actually being concealed. And there's, 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 like she said, there's different agendas out there. And if it's DARPA spraying, they're not allowed to release how much aluminum is in your soil or your water. So I just want to you. Comments? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for confirming that for us. I just wanted to make everybody aware that they are putting more, a lot more aluminum in the vaccines now. I heard this either on the Dr. Macola website or the National News website, one of those two, they both send me uh, newsletters. But they're putting more of that in our vaccines. It makes me pretty sure that they are trying to eradicate 95% of the world population. Yeah, that's that. Agenda 21. That is, that's definitely an exactly. underlying part of, uh, as Susan was pointing out, that is an underlying part of this agenda is to uh, depopulate the uh, world. So that's that's the bad news. And, um, and are we... Dan, do you have any comments? Yes. I want to thank everybody for coming this evening. We've covered a lot of great information. Uh, we do uh, cover, uh, talk about this on my radio show. Be sure to listen to Lexi Hunter. Uh, that's Sunday morning from 7 to 9. Uh, KFNX 1100 on your AM dial. We're on the air Monday through Friday 1100 on your AM dial, 9 to 10 every morning. Robin, don't leave. I have my, the citrus for you in my car. <laughs> and thank you to Mike Basic for videotaping this, and to Pete for putting this on, and to the doc for coming, and a big thank you to Judy Staub. Thank you. All right. Judy. Thank you for coming. Have a nice night.